Are you trapped in the financial matrix like Neo from The Matrix? That's today's episode. Let's dive in. Hey, Freedom Fighters. Welcome to the Investing in Real Estate show. I am Neo, your humble host, or Clayton Morris. I've renovated thousands of homes, and this is the show where we talk about buy and hold real estate. That's the vehicle that we use in order to create passive income and cash flow for you and your family. This is the Halloween edition. So Natalie and I went as Trinity and, uh, and Neo from The Matrix, and over the past month, we were thinking about, okay, what are we going to do for Halloween this year? What are we going to do for Halloween? And this year, we started watching The Matrix again because I had been going through quite a bit of things this year in my personal life, uh, leaving my 9-to-5 job and all of the bullets that are sort of flying at me on a regular basis from having made that decision. And, you know, my wife said to me, Think about it from the you know neo perspective. We need to rewatch the Matrix. So this summer we sat down and we 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 watched the Matrix. I think twice, like within a week time span. And I said, my God, I forgot how amazing this movie is. Not just from a science fiction perspective, right? It was groundbreaking as a science fiction movie, but as a real estate investor, as a human being looking to create more peace and quiet in your life. This movie is groundbreaking. What's the premise of The Matrix, right? The premise of The Matrix is this idea that there's this matrix, this sort of fake reality that we're all living in, right? That we're all living in this day-to-day anxiety-filled, debt-filled, fear-based world where we have to go to a nine-to-five job. We have to commute two hours uh, to and from work every day. We have, we're tired and exhausted at the end of the day. We don't have any energy um, to do the things that we really want to do in our life. We wait till we're 70 in order to retire and in order to start traveling to Machu Picchu and experience the world, right? That's the matrix. This is the the lie. And I think that's really the bottom line of this movie. It's this sort of postmodern look at the world that we're living in this lie. And the financial freedom matrix, really, if you tap into it, can really make you aware about all of the stuff, the bullets that are flying at us on a regular basis, all the crap that we're being taught on a regular basis. And I think it's really fascinating if we try to live like Neo, we try to live like Trinity and be aware that we have total control of this, right? In the Matrix, remember, the bullets are flying at him at one point. He's able to just stop, look, put his hand up, and all of the bullets just fall to the ground. It's a game. And I honestly see financial freedom and wealth building as a bit of a game. That if we can tap into this and we understand that we have this power to manipulate all of these things, we can change the destiny of our family. I've done it. Hundreds of real estate investors, thousands of real estate investors have done it. And I want to kind of give you some tips and tools that I've used over the past few years in order to separate ourselves from the matrix, pull back from it, get outside of it. Remember when Neo is, he's like living in that slime, right? And he's got that thing attached to the back of his head and he is connected to this matrix, this BS, this garbage, this total lie. He unhooks from it and he suddenly has this amazing power that he's able to realize, he's able to fly, you know, he's able to live this extraordinary life. He's able to travel, you know, through walls. When all of these enemies are coming at him, the agents, you know, when the agents are coming at him, he's able to just basically beat them off with one hand, control all of that. And I honestly believe that it's the difference between the red pill and the blue pill, right? He's confronted at one point with that choice. Do you choose the red pill or are you going to choose the blue pill? If you choose one of these pills, you're going to go back to living inside this lie, right? This fake reality where you're fear, you're fearing life for the rest of your life. Or you can choose the other pill and you're going to live an extraordinarily uh, extraordinary life. You're going to be able to separate yourself from it and see what sort of mystics see, see what high-level uh, investors see. You ever see, you know, like millionaire real estate investors, they sort of move through the world in a kind of calm, a calmness. Why? Because they understand how the game is played, right? They are Neo from the Matrix. Step one in all of this is really to format your mental hard drive. Remember when Neo comes out of the Matrix at the beginning of the movie or towards the beginning of the movie, he can't even walk, right? His muscles are atrophied. He's eating like this gruel. He doesn't even know how to really operate. 
Um, it's because he's so used to living in these in this fear-based way that he doesn't know how to format himself to start seeing things differently. So th- the reason I wanted to do this podcast, the other night, Natalie and I are sitting there on the couch watching the World Series. And, he, and I couldn't believe there were two commercials, if you watch the World Series, I think it was Game 4, or Game 3, whatever, back-to-back, where we had... Merrill Lynch doing a commercial for retirement, followed by Fidelity doing a commercial for retirement. The first commercial about Merrill Lynch, it had a wife sitting next to a husband. They were clearly in their early 60s, sitting with a Merrill Lynch advisor, talking about their retirement. And the wife is kind of sitting there doe-eyed as if she's been totally out of the loop on the whole thing from the beginning. Like She doesn't know anything about retirement. She's just kind of sitting there with this financial advisor who, by the way, is making money off of their fees, right? The fees that they're paying into this system. Merrill Lynch is making money hand over fist. They're never going to encourage them to invest in real estate. That's not what Merrill Lynch does. That Merrill Lynch will encourage them to buy into their mutual funds, these high-cost uh, index funds, these high-cost mutual funds that Merrill Lynch is making money off of. Well, the financial advisor in the commercial looks to the guy and says, you know, that plan that we had put in place, it looks like we're going to be able to make it happen. That goal that you set out, is now. it looks like it's now going to happen. And he, the husband, turns to his wife and kind of pokes her in the arm and says, did you hear that, honey? We can do it. Now, I looked at my wife. I just started laughing. They are 60 years old. He's got gray hair. She's got gray hair. And now they're sitting there, like, hoping that their their, their prayers are now answered at 60 years old. Like, this is it. Finally, we, we had to wait this long to know. And then she, the wife, looks like she was totally out of the loop on the whole situation to begin with, like she's not had any input in their retirement plans from the beginning. So that was infuriating to my wife, as you can imagine, because couples cannot build financial freedom by doing it one, with one person doing it. Both people have to be involved in this process. So the wife says, we can do it? We can do it? Really? And then they cut to their goal, their plan, their goal all along was to, they cut to a shot of them on a boat with their grandchild. And the grandchild says, can we go faster? And the woman, the 60-year-old, the grandmother, turns to the, the, to the little boy and says, aye, aye, captain. And they sail off into this sunset on a lake, like a mountain lake. So their whole goal, their whole life, was to be able to spend extra time with their grandchild, their family, and also, by the way, have a boat that they can go on a lake they had to wait till they're 60 to do that crap? Are you kidding me? This is the financial matrix. This is the BS that we're told we have to adhere to, right? Don't invest, you know, Merrill Lynch is not going to tell you to invest in real estate. Why? Because they don't make money off of it. And they don't have it as part of their stock plan. They don't know how to go out and find great properties and get them cash flowing and having passive income coming in from tenants every month. They're not going to tell you to do that. So they're going to charge you a ridiculous amount of money for their BS mutual funds, which, by the way, if you read the front page of the Wall Street Journal this past week and the Morning Star ratings, which rate mutual funds, they've all been basically BS for many, many years. These ratings have all been BS. People rate of return on a mutual fund, if you're lucky, is like a point and a half, one and a half, or two percent if you're lucky. And most of the time, that's not even getting where close. And all the fees that you're paying to these mutual fund advisors, total garbage. But that's the matrix. This woman and husband, they've been waiting their whole life to be able to spend more time with their family. Hey, here's an idea. Why don't you unplug from the matrix and when you're 35 years old, start to acquire assets that produce income for you. And then you can start to spend time with your family right now. Right now. We are so lied to, we are so conditioned by this matrix. This other Fidelity commercial was all about retirement planning, that you can do this. You can retire comfortably if you follow Fidelity. You follow the green line to retirement. We're going to help you get there because Fidelity knows how to secure your retirement. Really? Do you? Do you read any of the headlines? And by the way, why are you, Fidelity and Merrill Lynch, spending millions of dollars for a World Series commercial. You should ask yourself that question, right? When you see a commercial like that during the World Series, now I get it if it's the new iPhone, right? Apple's going to spend a lot of money to talk about the iPhone 10, which I can't wait and I've done my pre-order. But that's different, right? That's a product. We're buying a product. 
it, it's actually not that different from Merrill Lynch and from Fidelity, spending millions of dollars to get you to come to them so they can make money off of you. Again, tapping into that BS matrix. So the other thing that you want to do is focus on and pay attention to the masters that have done this. Now, I am by no means a master. Yes, I was able to retire at 40. Yes, I have hit financial freedom. Yes, I've rehabbed thousands of homes and I've helped our clients who work with us also achieve financial freedom. I'm not a master. I'm still learning every day. But there are masters out there who've written incredible books, right? Read Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad if you haven't already. Read some of the other master-filled books on how to make your mindset in place so that you can unhook from the matrix. I'm just going to give you a few of the books that I've written down. I think there's some great ideas that you can really start to move your brain in the direction of separating from the matrix. Number one is called The Inner Game of Tennis. This is an amazing, it's a pretty quick read, and it's a tennis teaching pro. And he actually teaches you as a medium to teach the larger concept of the inner game, that sort of inner voice inside of us. Um, and I'm in that, you know, I'm in that camp that really believes that the inner game far exceeds the outer game, right? So that inner matrix that we're all lying to ourselves about you can separate yourself from. Take a deep breath. Be aware of the messages that you've been so conditioned to see all of your life, right? I mean, why are we taught that, hey, I should go out and mow my own grass, right? You should go out and mow your own lawn every day. Really? Or why don't you pay the neighborhood kid $25 to do that? And the hour or two hours it would take you to mow your grass, why don't you stop, instead sit down and research more about how to find your next income producing property? Is, are you worth $25? Pay the neighborhood kid to go mow your lawn. Instead, spend that extra time and start to tap into how to uh, acquire your next rental property. Um, instead of you know kicking money around so you think, oh, I'm going to save up all this extra money this year so that someday my life will be better someday. Someday, I'll be better off. How about here's an idea. On, I want you to write out the 10 memorable vacations that you've had with your family um, and the, the trips that you get to go on and think about having passive income paying for those trips. Think about that life now. You should be able to go on vacations today with passive income coming in. Those are just a, some of the um, you know it, it, ways of thinking about it. But our schools are taught, uh, our, our schools are are conditioning our children to be paycheck employees, to be going after paychecks, not passive income, and that is a huge mistake. Can we as a world, can we as, a, as, you know, as investors, can we as a, as a nation, can we as human beings start to think in different ways about wealth building? Can we separate ourselves from this matrix? We're sitting there eating chips on the couch, watching Merrill Lynch tell us that we can have this better retirement. We can have this, this little moment in the sun with our grandkid when we're 65 years old if we just use Merrill Lynch. They're bullish on our retirement. That's their, that's their tagline. Really? You're bullish on my retirement? Mm. We've got a great episode coming up here on the show where we sit down with a financial advisor. And this financial advisor is going to blow your mind. He owns nine rental properties right now. He just bought one of them, uh, his most recent one through, through our company. And he said, I want to, you know, I'd love to come on the show to talk about financial uh, advisors and why they do not, they do not ever um, suggest real estate investing. And he is going to blow your mind. He is going to help you separate from the matrix. Now, happy Halloween, everyone. Um, that was, I would love for you actually on our Facebook page, please share your Halloween costumes if you would. If you could send them to us as well, I'd love to see. Um, it, you can share your, your, your Halloween costumes that you're going as this year. Uh, Natalie and I again going as uh, Neo and Trinity from the Matrix. It's been a wonderful year. It's been a great year of trying to knock these bullets down in midair and helping as many people as I can and, uh, to do the same thing. And that is my honest-to-goodness goal for you is I want you to be able to, when you see those bullets coming towards you, pull a Neo and be able to stop them in midair and realize it's all a game and you have total control of your financial future. We all do. It's those that understand it that actually are successful. Those that believe the lie, the matrix, are doomed to stay in it for the rest of their lives. We'll see you next time, everyone, here on the show. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you're not already a subscriber, please do. We do this show multiple times a week, and we try to help you achieve financial freedom. I'm Clayton Morris. We'll see you back here next time. Now go out there, take action, separate from the matrix, and achieve financial freedom. We'll see you next time, everyone.